In this session, I'm going to show you how to use in SketchUp to do terrain. Let's say we have a set site in AutoCAD like this. So the yellow ones are the contours, the big one with a cross on it is a multi-unit building we, we are going to propose here. And the north point is 15 degree northwest. Before we import these contours into SketchUp, we have to move them into the right height based on the survey drawings. So these contours now are 3D contours. Now in SketchUp, we click File, Import, then we click DWG and we click the file we want to import we also need to set up some options such as a unit such as a preserve join orange and then we click OK and then we click OK open to import the DWG file ok now we have uh, auto CAD file imported. So let's have a look around. As we can see, these contour lines are all 3D contours. We can use layer panel by clicking this one. Turn off all the layers that are not relevant at the moment. And then we're going to select these contours, press Ctrl to add these lines into our selection. Okay, then we click Sandbox Choose from Contours. You can see the terrain has been done. And uh, we can use materials, stone perfection, ground cover, no grass, color carpet, special touches, vegetations. Give it a nice grass finish. Okay, now we have a basic terrain done. So, but this is not good enough. We want to see more information on it the side boundary and the road boundary. So first we turn off it so we can see clearly the layer under. The good thing is try to group them together. So make a group. So this now become a whole element. Then we turn on the terrain contour again. And we're using drape tools. We click drape. First we select the site. And then we select the contour layer. Now we can see all the information has been cast onto the terrain. It's always good to separate the 3D layer terrain from the layers we import from AutoCAD. So first we need to create a 3D TOR main terrain layer. And then what we need to do, we need to click the messing. And uh, we also need to double click because messing itself is one component. So by double clicking, we enter this component. Now we select all the materials here and then we put it on 3D terrain layer. By clicking on outside, we exit from that layer. Now we can turn off all the AutoCAD layer. However, we also need to change the, the components layer to 3D Terrain 2. So if we turn out layer 0, we still can see it. Now we can do some final touching 
to the terrain. We click the bucket tools. First, we need to enter this component by double click. Now we click about get tools, and we're going to give our site a special color, maybe dark, maybe light. It's up to you. And then we are going to give the road a different color, so it looks more realistic now. And also, you can hide the edges if you want to make it look more elegant. So, oh, hide. So, keep using control to add new selections it's a little bit time consuming Okay, right click, hide. Now we have a beautiful terrain. Click outside the box to jump out of the component. So the terrain part, the session finished.